I love essential oils and I find them so very healing at the cellular level. And if you learn to detoxify your liver, as we know, the liver is the key to all of our other organs. And if your liver is detoxified, your other organs are going to follow suit. But this video is specifically for oils that are good for conditions such as cerebral palsy. Um, the effects of cerebral palsy vary greatly, causing impaired movement associated with exaggerated reflex or or rigidity of the limbs and trunks, abnormal posture, involuntary movements, unsteadiness of walking, or a combination of these. Uh, oftentimes the signs and the symptoms include stiff muscles, exaggerated reflex, uh, stiff muscles with normal reflexes or rigidity, lack of muscle coordination, tremors, involuntary movement, slow development of motor skills such as pushing with arms, sitting up or crawling, reaching only with one hand or dragging a leg while crawling, difficulty eating or swallowing, excessive drooling, slow speech development or difficulty speaking. Uh, guys, these oils will really, really help with some of these, with some of these conditions. Medical researchers have not found an answer, but they offer different therapies. And there are natural medicines that offer help with, the, with these. Uh, because essential oils have the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, they can stimulate brain activity in a non-toxic way. And one can hope and wait and see what possible benefits will appear. Uh, different people have tried different things that have resulted in the information that I'm about to share with you. By investigating further with supplements and natural remedies, many new things will begin to be discovered. The risk is very minimal and the gain could be slight to very, very immense. Now, the cerebral palsy recipe specifically, guys, is 15 drops of frankincense, 12 drops of myrrh, 10 drops of Idaho balsam fir, 10 drops of fleabane, or it's otherwise known as Konza, C-O-N-Y-Z-A, 4 drops of peppermint. Take 3 capsules daily, morning, noon, and night. Use this recipe in addition to the uh, Vitaflex uh, massage, acupressure, uh, aromatherapy, massaging of all of the oils synergistically starting with the bottom of the feet. Massage the bottom and the top of the feet, focusing particular attention on the tip of the big toe. Uh, massage a few drops of oil behind your knees, into your abdomen, the base of your spine, the back of your neck, the top part of your chest, your abdomen, uh, and then the crown of the head. Uh, some people call these chakra points. I like to call them Vita Flex points. Um, this, this gets the energy moving, flowing freely through the body. If you apply these divine essential oils such as frankincense and myrrh into, into these parts of the body. Now guys, that recipe, let me, let me explain to you a little bit about that recipe because we want to be very, very careful when we're using essential oils. Um, essential oils that are recommended for specific condition are not the only oils that you can use. These oils are merely a starting point. The ones that I listed are just a starting point. Other oils not listed can also be just as effective. You have to use oils to determine what works best for you. However, the, the oils that I listed are the preferred oil. Start with the first single oil blend. Uh, so start with the frankincense. If results are not apparent after waiting a little while, try another single oil blend. So then you would combine uh, the frankincense and the myrrh, and then you would just build off of this, guys. Sometimes you have to keep experimenting to find out work, what works best for you. This is because one particular oil may be compatible with one person's body chemistry rather than another person's body chemistry. Essential oils can be used topically for massage, like I, like I told you. Uh, most a single oils and blends should be diluted meaning 50-50% when putting them on the skin. Oils that definitely should be diluted are oils such as citrus, clove, cypress, lemongrass, mountain savory, oregano, rosemary, thyme. These are very, very potent essential oils, guys, so you want to use a carrier oil like jojoba and dilute it 50-50. Um, you know, for some people, an oil like basil may not be too hot if put on neat on the skin, meaning undiluted, but for others, basil will be way too hot. Uh, this is why it's always beneficial before applying any oil that you do a patch test. Uh, when using topically, first do a skin test by putting a, a one drop on the inside of the upper arm. And if any redness or irritation results, the skin should be thoroughly cleansed and the oil may be reapplied. If skin irritation continues to persist, uh, try using a different oil or a different oil blend. Um, you know, if, if you react negatively to a 100% 
pure therapeutic grade essential oil, my recommendation would be to do a detox, do a juicing fast and do it, do a juicing detox and detoxify that liver and then try the patch test again with these essential oils. But this recipe that I, that I shared with you of all those oils combined in a capsule, you don't start with all of that, okay? You start with just a few drops of the frankincense and then you build off of that. But you eventually want to get to a point where you're combining all of those in a capsule and you're taking them morning, noon, and night. And these are 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oils. Guys, I can't stress this enough that we're not using synthesized oils. Many American uh, brand essential oils, we're getting the rejects from France. And these are not going to be beneficial, guys. All this lavender for 10 to 10 bucks a large bottle. This is not the real lavender, baby. We've got to learn to use 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oils. And these oils, guys, literally carry vibrations. They resonate. Essential oils vibrate between 52 hertz and 320 hertz, rose being the highest. Um, but this recipe that I got, that I, that I share with you guys, let me tell you what happened with this regimen. A seven-year-old boy with cerebral palsy and autism after one month was able to walk flat-footed without his walker. His test scores in school improved by 28% and his attention span increased by 30%, his mother reported. And that, that is this blend. And the blend, again, I'll tell you one more time, is 15 drops frankincense, 12 drops myrrh, 10 drops Idaho balsam fir, 10 drops fleabane, 4 drops of peppermint. And this was a capsule taken uh, three times daily. Um, but don't. that being said... Don't start with all of that. It's going to be too much for your body. You need to detox first and then start with the frankincense and then build off of that. Find out which, which oils resonate best for your body chemistry and then use those oils accordingly. If you re react negatively to an oil, back off of it and use less of it. Uh, peace, love, and positive vibration. Get your frankincense and get your myrrh on, baby. You're really going to find some healing and some benefits in these divine, sacred, essential oils that resonate up out of the earth. Have a great day. Peace, love, positive vibrations. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Have a great day.